Hey, it's Steven with Electric, and today we're taking a look at the Dragonfly. It's not a scooter, it's an electric adventure vehicle. Despite its looks, it doesn't ride like a scooter or a skateboard, but rather a surprising mix of everything jumbled up together in a new kind of riding that I haven't experienced before. The Dragonfly has a full tilt steering system that gives a unique type of maneuvering, which depending on how you handle it, could feel similar to carving on a longboard or maybe a snowboard. The steering system definitely has a bit of a learning curve to figure out, but once you get the hang of it, it can definitely be a blast for those that are looking for a much more involved ride that's also a little bit unique. The system allows you to fully tilt into the side that you want to go while also being able to steer and turn the bars. With an extra dimension of steering comes obviously a lot more complexity, but it also makes for a more dynamic ride. The top speed is 32 miles per hour, and while testing it here, I was in New York City, so I was going at a top speed of 25 miles an hour, but overall, I found it to be a pretty fun ride. Depending on how you maneuver it, you can kind of get that same carving feel that you would on a longboard. But one thing that I liked about this is that the suspension was pretty good and the tires were all terrain. So unlike a longboard where you have to worry about each little pebble sending you straight to the ground while carving, this one you kind of don't have to worry about that. For that initial learning curve, they added a feature that lets you go into the display and manually put in exactly how much torque you want in terms of percentages. Okay, before I go any further, let's get a few specs out of the way. So the Dragonfly is a front wheel drive with two 500 watt hub motors in the front. The vehicle uses a lithium ion 48 volt 19.6 amp hour battery that gets you up to 50 miles of range. Now the suspension is kind of where things start to get interesting. It uses is a fully independent dual wishbone technology with adjustable hydraulic damped sprung suspension. As for brakes, it uses electronic front ABS, rear independent dual drum brakes, and a bit of regenerative braking. For easy storage, the vehicle can be folded up vertically. The Dragonfly comes with a few additional tech features, including a 5-inch digital HMI display, which connects to a camera unless you record your rides. If you're looking for something that's simple and you want to get from point A to point B, then the Dragonfly would probably be overkill for you. But for those looking for a unique riding experience and being more involved with your rides while getting the heart pumping at speeds that won't really leave you in the hospital in the case of a crash, then this could definitely be worth taking a look at.